Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to play World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King. And many of you probably wonder how you do that if Wrath of the Lich King is an old expansion. Um, and most of you probably already know that you use private servers to do this. And I'm guessing the majority of people watching this play Molten or maybe... Omega. I know a lot of people from Omega transfer to this private server that I'm about to show you guys. But before we do any of that, you're going to want to go to the piratebay.se, not .com. It'll take you to the wrong place. And um, type in World of Warcraft 3.3.5a. Then you can search that and you'll get this list. Now, I'm sure not all of these work, and I'm sure most of them, and I'm sure there's others that do work, but the one you're going to want to choose is World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King 3.3.5a 12340. And the reason why is because it has the most seeds. Which means it will download faster and I'll put the link to this page in the description and to download this you'll need uTorrent or BitTorrent but I don't recommend either of those because their um, their privacy their privacy policy or their policy on privacy whatever you want to call it um, it's a little not private uh, <laughs> and they keep track of things you download and other stuff like that and I just didn't want to use anything like that so I use something called QBitTorrent which you can find just by searching on Google QB BitTorrent or maybe it's just QBitTorrent yeah it's just QBitTorrent but when you hit the magnet link here I'll start downloading and there's about 50 seeds which is I mean it's good download speed it could be higher but depending on your internet it might be higher than mine or lower than mine um, but you'll just have to wait for that to download and after it downloads you won't need to install anything or anything like that you'll it'll just be good to go you don't have to install the game right now it says two hours and eighteen minutes but that'll probably change to about an hour and ten and after that's done downloading I'm not gonna fully download it I'll let it run for a while but I'm not it'll take too long for me to wait for it to download so I'm not gonna show you guys the process of downloading um, if this is a a great torrent too I've used this for a long time and it has an uh, about 688 seeders, not all at one time, but at different points in time. And this is just the most trustworthy one there is. There's lots of comments. Anyway, while it's installing, you'll want to do this step first while it's installing. So by the time you get everything set up and ready to play, your game will already be downloaded. So that's why I had you come here first. You'll want to go to truewow.org, and this is the private server that I was talking about in the beginning. Um, it's got it's got low rates, uh, blizz like rates, as you can see right here. PvP. Some people are doing PvP. Some people aren't in it. Um, right now there's 128 online and that's really why I'm making this video is because it really needs more people and it's a great server not to have uh, <coughs> not to have a lot of people like Molten and the other servers that don't have as nice scripts don't have as nice um, GM's and everything like that so this is why I think you should join this server and if you're already on another server and you like it that's fine 
but I'm guessing if you're here and watching this video that you probably want to change servers or you're just starting and haven't played on any private server before and I would suggest that you start here but all you have to do is make an account I've made my account already and then um, then to play let's see I go to account manager and this is where you can create an account right here um, this will be what you log in for in the game what you log in with in the game the other ones just for the website and the form and everything so after you've made your account on the website and the form you can go to your account go to account manager and create an account you can choose your expansion here you don't have to have the wrath of the lich king content but that's all up to you if you want the original vanilla wrath of the lich king or burning crusade whatever you want you can pick that um, I would recommend just going with wrath of the lich king because it'll have everything from both of these in it just pick a username password confirm your password put your email in and create a link create and link I mean and uh, should link and then after you do that you should have in your linked accounts the account you just made and then you'll use this username and password to log in and so now you can basically play um, some of you might if that of course is if your torrent has downloaded but see it's moving pretty fast I mean it's a big file compared to these other ones I've downloaded 16 gigabytes that's understandable considering it's World of Warcraft but you might have to wait a little longer which sucks anyway I'm gonna pause it delete it and this is a great torrent client to uh, download your torrents with and it's just the one that I prefer but after you've created gone to the account manager made an in-game account linked it then you're good here and you don't need to do anything else oh and before I forget um, you can requ request a transfer and this will transfer a character from another from another private server it can transfer it onto the true wow servers which is the server you're going to be playing on if you're following the steps in this video true wow it's the um, best server I know of most blizz like server per not perfect scripts but really good scripts compared to all the other alternatives and so you can see most get approved in about four to two days and here's the servers they will transfer from Delarian, Paragon, Molten is there only on the times only on the uh, one server the rates are one and you can't have you can't transfer from a server that has more than a rate of three so if you're on a server that has rates of 10 rates of 20 rates of 5 you're pretty much out of luck you can't do anything you'll have to start a new character and it looks like you get eight free character transfers there's a D there instead of an S but anyway so you can do that um, the transfer manager see most come from Omega Wow so that a thousand people um, almost two thousand and I, I even met somebody on there the first hour I played that had just come from Omega Wow so maybe some of you guys will want to transfer over to this server it's my favorite server and there may not be tons of people on at once like molten and everything 
but the people that are on are friendly and you can usually if you're just starting a new account you can usually find other people who are also starting a new account you can post on forums if you want to play with people and stuff like that but anyway after your game downloads you'll want to go to wherever you downloaded it I have a folder for torrents um, and mine's downloading right there and that's all it has done right now but yours will look like because I canceled mine so there's not much there but yours will look like this once it's completely downloaded and I know this is the molten the molten um, torrent but it's the fastest torrent and since mol and this won't change what server you play on or anything so you might as well download the fastest torrent because you can play on any server with any torrent but after you download it you have one last step and it's to go to data this folder right here go to realmlist.wtf and I you can open it with notepad it doesn't really matter I have this to open files like this because notepad plus plus because it just puts it in a easier to read format it's not needed for everybody but I prefer this over everything else so you're gonna see it says set realm list and after that you're gonna wanna put this right here login.truewow.org yours might say after set realms list yours might have something related to molten and you can just delete whatever that is and after set realm list just copy lo I'll just put a link um, I'll put it in the description of the video so you can highlight all of this and just delete it and then paste set realm list login.truewild.org then you just put that into that folder or that file that's all you have to do Then you click save I can't do it because I didn't change anything but after that you can go back to your folder where you installed it World of Warcraft 3.3.5a is my folder no install and I'm pretty sure yours will say the same thing but anyway you can run it by clicking wow.exe and I made a shortcut to right here and I renamed the shortcut WoW Client Wrath of the Lich King 3.3.5a just so I would know what client I was playing when I clicked on the icon because I have Mist of Pandaria and uh, Cataclysm also downloaded which I haven't played any of those in a few months but I and they don't have some of them have okay servers but I haven't found a server that I like as much as true wow and right now I'm pretty sure it only has wrath of the lich king servers and that's my favorite version of world of warcraft um, but other than that you've pretty much done everything now and you can run wow.exe and you can start playing uh, I could open it I guess I'll open it it might cause a bunch of lag because I'm recording at the same time and I have a crappy computer so if you guys want to play World of Warcraft and you don't think your computer can handle it private servers running Wrath of the Lich King or even Cataclysm that's not a bad option either because they work both of them work really well on old computers and on bad graphics cards probably not a ton better than um all right yeah it's cool it's not like it too bad a little bit you guys can feel free to add me on the game too and 
we can play together. I just started, I just made an account on here. What is my password? Yeah. Yep, and I have a level 6 warrior. <laughs> I just started last night, but I was excited because I found a, finally found a good private server. I thought I should at least show people how to play on it and how to get it working and everything and just tell everybody who doesn't know about this server about it so you guys can play. But yeah, see it's gonna lag for me really bad because I'm recording. But it's a great server. Shouldn't have come out here, that's a bad idea. But yeah, so that's basically all you need to do. <laughs> Nine frames per second. That's basically all you need to do. And you should be able to play and you should have an account and you just create a new character. And it's so similar to original Warcraft, World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King and if you guys like Blizz like servers, I would suggest this one over anything else. Um, I know some people don't like Blizz like servers because they're bored of them and they have played a lot, but this video isn't really for those people. So if you're just starting, go ahead and um, download the client, play, play on true WoW servers, and have a good time and. Hopefully I'll see you in game. Feel free to add me. And um, that's it. So I hope this video helped you guys out. It would help me out if you subscribed and if you liked. And comment anything that you want to comment. If you have any questions over anything in the video, you can comment. Other questions, feel free to comment. I'll try to help anybody out that has any questions. And if you need another video tutorial over something else that has to do with it I can also do that um, I know this tutorial was kinda long but I just wanted to make sure I went over everything that you guys might have questions on so I hope it helped you out have fun playing and be sure to use the forms and be sure to, and also I don't um, I'm not part of the staff of the website of the private server or anything I just found it yesterday um, but I thought I should tell you guys all about it and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do thanks one more thing guys I just noticed when I was recording when I was watching the recording I saw a lot of flickering and screen tearing and stuff like that while I was playing the game and I wasn't actually seeing that on my screen it only showed up in the recording. Uh, I was lagging a lot because I was recording while playing the game and I have an integrated graphics card so that does not work well and I'm surprised it worked as well as it did but I just thought I should let you guys know that it's nothing there's nothing wrong with the client the Wrath of the Lich King client that you downloaded with your torrent um, and there's nothing wrong with the true WoW servers they all work perfectly, smooth gameplay, no FPS issues, unless, of course, you're using an integrated graphics card like me, you might have some issues. And I can't play a lot of games like that because of uh, my graphics card, but I just thought I should let you guys know just in case you saw it and were wondering why it was doing that. I just thought I should tell you guys it's not because of the servers or the client. It's just my crappy computer. But thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, and I hope you enjoyed playing The Wrath of the Lich King.